Welcome. Welcome, Welcome to Coffee <laughs> and Conversation this morning. Yes. Amen. This Thursday morning, praise God. In case you don't know, we're your hosts, Pastor AJ and Pastor Atina. Yes, and we're excited, excited, excited. Yes. This is our second week, praise God. And so we're happy to be with you guys on this morning. Yes. So as you're coming in, this morning, we would like for you to like uh, this broadcast, yes. comment, of course, say good morning to each other, as well as share this broadcast. Amen. And we're going to do the same things and, and same thing, I mean, we're going <laughs> to greet a few of you this morning. All right. Amen. As we are doing the same exact thing. Amen. Amen. All right. amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. It's just so good to be back with you all. As you can see, we are sitting in the comfort of our living room on this morning. Amen. So look, wherever you are on this morning. Hopefully you're not driving, praise the Lord. If you are, hopefully you're just listening, glory to God. But wherever you are, if you're in your home, if you're at your place of employment, we are excited to have you with us on this morning. As Pastor AJ said, this is our second week, and we'll be here each and every Thursday from 7 a.m. to 7.30 a.m., amen. Look, we got our mugs on this morning, yes. and our tagline is simply, what's in your cup? Pastor AJ, what do you have in your cup this morning? Well, I'm drinking the... The fresh brewed uh, <laughs> coffee, amen. Oh, you uh, got coffee, all right. This morning, so. Uh, amen. Yes, so I'm excited Praise as well. Lord. But look, let's just I didn't tell you people. what was in my cup. What was in your cup? <laughs> I have none other than some green tea with lemon, amen. Amen. Green tea with lemon. You got the green tea, amen. Okay, all right, well. Got a few good, people. Good morning, uh, Letitia. Amen. Good morning, uh, Monique. And, Amen. I see the uh, Clements are on. Yes. Deacons, Renee. Good morning, Red, Selena. Carmelita. All right. Selena. Good morning. Uh, Gloria. Amen. Amen. Uh, LJ. God. And, uh, oh, and wow. others. So good God. to have so many of you are with us yes. this morning. Sherry, amen, on Sherry. Amen. Jacqueline, amen. I believe we got Chris and Tiffany. I see Bam Bam and Pebbles right. on there. Crystal, Glory to God. Praise yeah. God. And, uh, Welcome. Mm -hmm. Call tab this morning. Good right. morning. Good, good morning. morning. Good morning to Praise each of the you. Lord. Amen. That are coming on. Amen. And uh, we got some good stuff for you this morning. Yes, 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 yes. So we're gonna go ahead and um, I think we'll go ahead. And, let's go ahead and get going. All right. Hello, Praise Tamika God. Jones. Good morning, Tamika. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Welcome. Amen. Welcome to this uh, coffee Thursday and conversation. Morning coffee and conversation. Good morning, uh, elders Ganel. Yes. Well, our elders Watts, I would say. <laughs> <laughs> Amen. Praise All right. God. Look, okay. don't forget to share. Don't forget to share. That's share. Right. Share. Amen. This broadcast, and so uh, we're gonna have a word of prayer. Yes. This we're morning, get started. and then we're gonna go ahead and get started. Amen. You wanna go ahead and get started? Yes. Amen. Praise God. So let's we can. Because we talked, we we talked about last week, touch it and agree. Yes. So we're gonna touch, touch and, and agree. Amen. This morning, well, Father God, we yes. honor you and bless you for yes. this day that you have made. We shall rejoice. Yes, God. And be glad in this day. Amen. We thank you, Father, for uh, today's topic. Amen. Yes. And we thank you for these coffee and conversations, even though this is just the second week. Yes. Praise God. We just thank you for all that you're gonna do. We thank you for those that are coming on and. Even those that are watch at a yes. later time, Father, I pray that what we share on today and what we've shared on even on last week will minister yes. to your people, Father. Have your way, yes. Lord, in Jesus', in Jesus name. name. Amen. 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 Praise Amen. God. Again, welcome, welcome, Tina, and welcome, Amen. Uh, brother Joe. Amen. Welcome, welcome to Coffee and, and conversations. conversations. Yes. Amen. Praise God. Now that doesn't mean you have to have coffee. You see, my wife. She had tea this morning. You can have water. Amen. You can have juice. But what's in your cup That's this morning? That's right. What's I don't in know. your cup? Amen. Praise God. What's in your cup? So we're going to go ahead and get going Amen. this morning. Praise God. All right. Come God. on. We got to tell them what our topic is on today. Our topic is right. on agreement. We're going to continue on agreement. Amen. We're continuing right. on agreement. Amen. Yes. But we're going to subtitle this, well, in a sense, subtitle. Right. Praise God. Um, agreeing with the plan of God for your life. All right. Doesn't that sound interesting? Agreeing, agreeing with the, agreeing plan, with of the God. plan of God for your life. For your life. All Amen. Right. And so we believe, we yes. believe that the Bible instructs every believer yes. on all matters of life. Life, yes. Amen. And faith. Amen. All matters of life and faith. So, mm -hmm. so we shared this with you on last week, but we're going to share it again. Uh, just a de quick definition of agreement. Yes. Agreement means to be in harmony. Mm. Harmony of opinion, yes. harmony of action, amen, amen. or character. Amen. It also means to be on one accord. So when we talk about agreeing with the plan of God for your life, mm -hmm. we want to get an agreement 
with God. We want to yes. be in agreement with God's plan for our life. We yes. want to be in agreement with the plan of God. We want to be in agreement with with he, what he already establishes yes, for, for our life, for yes. your life and for my life. Yes, I want to just jump in, Pastor, and add this one thing. Um, for all of you listening today, just know that the plan that God has for you is unique and special to you. The plan that God has for you is unique and special to you. And, you know, we've talked and ministered in the past about uh, comparison and running your race um, as if you're, you're running your race uh, like somebody else's. But right. the plan that God has for you is unique and special to you. It's your plan. It's his plan for your life. Amen? Amen. That's right. It's his plan. And yes. so when we embrace the plan that God has for us, yes. meaning get an agreement. Get an agreement. Get an agreement with the plan that God has for yes. us. Then as we read on last week, we read Matthew 18 and 19, yes. that if two of you shall, shall agree on agree. anything, yes. uh, it shall be done. So when we agree with the plan of God for our life, then we will know that it's going to be done. It shall, shall be. be done. And so we're excited yes. about that. Yes. The Bible says in Amos chapter 3 and verse 3, it says, two people will not walk together unless they have agreed yes. to do so. To do so. To do so. So keep in mind that our God has already agreed, praise God, to be an intricate part of our life. Yes. God has already agreed. He's already did his part. Yes. Amen. Uh, to be in our life. He, he sent his only son. Yes. He sent Jesus to die for our sins. And so we already know that he is in agreement because he sent his son to be the scapegoat. Right. So he's in agreement with us. That's right. And like we're saying this morning, we need to get an agreement with him. That's right. We need to get an agreement <laughs> with God. Right. So, so, you know, sometimes, you know, you know, again, you know, a one side relationship is not a good relationship. Oh, no. At and all. it's not sustainable. Exactly. And so. <laughs> You know, it's just like God's love. You yeah. know, God loved us so much. Right. He showed his love. We're talking about love this month. Yeah. Amen. Love Amen. is. So we know, there's no problem with the love of God. The love of God is never the problem. No, it's, never in question. It's never in question right. how much he loves us. Right. And that sounds great, but what are we going to do? Right. When are we going to love him the way he loves us? Amen. When are we going to? going to totally and completely, mm -hmm. amen, just, just sell out to the Lord, yeah. amen, and lay our life down yes. for his plan right. for our life because he has a perfect plan yes. for, for our life, but we have to get in agreement with that plan mm -hmm. so that we can inherit the destiny that he has already predestined for us. Right, because so, cause a lot of times, I want to say a lot of times, um, people have the tendency to make their plans and then... Uh, want God to come and bless the plans that they've right, made right. versus them getting in agreement with the plans that he has made. Exactly. And so we're going to explore that just a little bit this yeah. morning with the time that we so have. So I found out right. over the years, I found out over the years that most, just like what Pastor Cindy just said, mm -hmm. we want our plans to line up with, we want God to line, line up, up with, with our, our plans. plans. Right. You know, the Bible says in Proverbs 16 and 9 that, that man will plan his way. Yes. A man's heart plans his way. But the Lord would direct, direct his steps. Yes, that's so. So, good. so again, when we when we have a plan and when we are purposing, yes. Amen. To be open to what God wants to do, we must leave room for God. Yes. To call it audible in our life. To, oh, that's To so do good. what He wants to do, we yeah. have to allow God to slip in. Yes. Because we don't always know the plan. We don't know right. His perfect will right. for our life. We believe we're walking with the Lord. We believe we're doing the right, right thing. But we don't always know His perfect will, and so. You know, yes, we'll, have, we'll make our plans, but we need to make sure that we leave room for God yeah. to change it or uh, to call an audible. That's so you good. Know. You know, the other day, we were, you and I were talking about GPS. Right. We were talking about GPS system. And the thing with a, a GPS system, a global positioning system, is you set your destination. You pre-put in your destination. Right. And as you're going towards the destination, there may be some obstacles or some detours that you have to... Um, have to that may change your route, I yeah, would say, right. or you may actually miss your exit at some sometimes. Mm -hmm. And so, if anybody who's ever used a, a GPS, you know, um, it'll begin to talk to you if you have it set for that. It'll begin to say, uh, make a U turn or up ahead, or up ahead, take a left, or up ahead, take a right, so you can get back on your uh, corrected course or the right course so you can reach your destination. Where for us, the GPS is actually the Holy Spirit. And so the Holy Spirit or the Word of God, the right. Word of God yes, right. they those things will help us to get back in alignment or as we're talking in agreement with the plan that God has for our That's life. Right, and so we got to be sensitive to listen uh, to the voice of the Lord. And look, like Pastor say, 
be okay with him calling an audible. Right. Just to get us back to the destination. That's, That's right. Good. The spirit and the word, they agree. Agree, yes. They agree. And so, you know, even when our heart, people say, I'm following my heart. You know, mm -hmm. that sounds good, but even your heart can lead you in a wrong direction. Yes. Especially if the word of God is not yes. the standard. That's so good. I can follow my heart, and I'm a I can follow my heart, but as long but I'm only following my heart as long as the word of God is the standard. You know what I'm saying? The right. word of God is is what tells me what direction I'm going in. Yeah. As Pastor Tino was saying about our GPS. The word of God, the word and the spirit, they always agree. agree. Mm -hmm. And so the the spirit of God. Uh, amen. It's not going to tell you anything contrary yeah. to the word of God. Right. And so that's why when you hear a word or when you believe that I should do this and do that, mm -hmm. then then my next thing is, what, what does the scripture say? What right. does the Bible say? Right. Because I need to find a man, a word that would agree yes. to oh, God that's good. with what, with what, I'm, what I'm saying. saying. That's because, right. Again, we're talking about uh, agreeing with the plan of God. Yes. Amen. Come on. If you agree with the plan of God, mm -hmm. you want to agree, just, just say I agree. That's right. All Put you have to say is I agree. This just, just say I agree. I agree, That's I agree right. with Amen. the plan of God yes, for my I life. Agree. I don't want my plans. Right. I want the plans that God has for me. I'm going to read some scripture. I want you to listen to this yes. this morning because this scripture says the same thing in two different places. It's Proverbs chapter 14, verse 12, and Proverbs chapter 16, verse 25. Mm. I mean, for God to repeat it twice, you know, every word is confirmed by two or three witnesses. He said this in two different places, and it says, that, again, it's Proverbs chapter 14, verse 12, and Proverbs chapter 16, verse 25. It says, there is a way which seem right to a person, but its <laughs> end is the way of death. There wow. is a way that it seems, seems right. right. Yes. It seems right. So, yes. again, but the Bible says at the end is mm -hmm. the way of death, meaning I'm going in the wrong right. direction. Yes. I'm going in, in a direction that's contrary, contrary to the word of God. Listen. And it may seem right initially. Yes. You know, and that's why we can't um, be moved by our feelings because sometimes right. things feel right or even seem right, yeah, that's but good. it doesn't make it right. Yeah, that's It doesn't good. mean it's right because it seems right, right or it feels right. Mm -hmm. I need to know what the plan of God is for my life, and I need to get an agreement yes. with the plan of God for Boy. my life. Amen. That's so good. I mean, we said place. this earlier, but it bears repeating. You know, we believe the Bible instructs every believer on all matters of life and faith. Mm, that's so good. All matters of, of life, life and, and faith. faith. We yeah. believe the Bible instructs believers. I mean, this mm -hmm. is this is what we live by on all matters of life and faith, not just things related to the church, right. not just this thing or that thing, but right. all, all matters. matters. So we can include the word of God in every decision, everything, every, every decision, decision that we make. Can I read uh, Proverbs sure. sixteen twenty five out of the Passion Translation? Listen to what it says. It says, before every person, there is a path that seems like the right one to take, but it leads straight to hell. Oh, wow. Isn't that something? It, leads straight, it, it makes it play. It leads straight to hell. Going back to what you said, this, from individuals, it always seems like this is the way we should go. Right. But we should try and test every decision, like you're saying, by the word of God. That's right. Does it line up with the word? And if it lines up with the word, that's the agreement that I'm looking that's for. That's the agreement. Yeah. Because Proverbs 12 and, and 15, I mean, um, Proverbs, um, yeah, 12 and 15 says, the way of a fool is right in his own, own eyes. eyes. Yeah. The way of a fool is right in his own eyes. And see... <laughs> But he who heeds counsel is wise. Yes. So, again, if I'm going in a direction that's contrary to God. See, sometimes people just push yes. in a direction even though it's contrary to God. Right. That's why the Bible says, but he who heeds wise counsel, yes. you understand, is it's wise. wise. And so yeah. he that heeds counsel is mm -hmm. wise because, you know, the Bible's all saying I'm all to the counsel of their safety. Right. So we're talking about agreeing with the plan of God. Mm -hmm. But sometimes if we're not careful... You know, we can follow our own plans. Yes. Amen. Look, to, to our own detriment. Detriment, that's right. Amen. And, or you and, can follow the plans of somebody else. Of somebody, somebody else. else like and we were and mess around and get outside, outside of the will right. of God yep. and not be in agreement with God's plan. We must cooperate and participate oh, that's good. in the plan that God has for us. Oh, I like that. It's not just yeah. going to happen. I like that. I must cooperate yeah. with God's plan. Now, that's that's, that's a, a comment. That's a comment right there. I, I must cooperate right. 
with God's plan. That's right. We talk about participate. It all. Participate. And That's right. Because yep. you know, I need to cooperate with God. Some yes. of us are just, you know, we're pushing away. You know, I have a child, you know, the child in a grocery store, a little child. <laughs> right, right. You know, I can see a child kind of pulling away uh -huh, from, from their the parent, parent or yep, whatever, yep. you know. And God is trying to get you to go get you to go in the right direction exactly. get you to go to where we're, we're pulling away but we Ooh. must cooperate yeah. we need to cooperate, cooperate with, with God. God we need to yes. participate so in good. the plan that God has for us because you know there's a way that seems right yes. you may believe that you're doing the right thing that doesn't make it good right. even if it seems right even if it feels right, right. it doesn't make it right mm -hmm. unless it land, lines up with, with the, the word, word of God because uh, Proverbs 12 um and 15 in the Passion Translation says, a fool is in love with his own opinion. Ooh. But wisdom means being teachable. Oh, Come wisdom means being teachable. Ooh. You have to ask yourself, am I teachable? We're talking about, again, getting in agreement with the plan of God for our life, for my life. Am I teachable? Am I wow. okay with God instructing me? Am I okay with, look, knowing that I was going one way, but God is saying I was going, you were going right, but I need you to go left. Right. Am I okay with that? We must be teachable in this season. We must be, must teach be teachable. That's why the Bible says in Psalms chapter one mm -hmm. and verse one yep. said, blessed, blessed is, is the man, man who walks not, not in the counsel That's of right. the ungodly. That's right. You understand? No, it's in the seat of, you know, scornful. scornful and all. Right. You know what I'm saying? But, but, but the part is, the Bible says you will be blessed if you don't listen to the counsel of the godly. Ungodly. ungodly. That's, and that's right. why, again, the counsel of God is true. Mm -hmm. And so we can trust the word of God. Amen. We can take the word of God to the bank. Amen. And the way that we're going to be able to walk in the plan that God has for us is to trust the word of God, to trust the plan of God, to trust credible people. Yes. Amen. Who love God yes. and who... And who um, amen, who are walking in godliness. Right. Praise we can God. see their fruit. We can see their fruit. You can and see so, their it's fruit. It's so good, yes. amen, to, to be able to understand that God has a plan yes. for but, each and every one of our lives. That's so but look, good. it's not just going to happen. Yeah. We have to make it happen. We have to get in agreement. That's right. Praise God. I know all of us, you understand, you know, we, we didn't come out <laughs> the womb saved. saved. That's we didn't right. come out the womb going in the right direction. Amen. But at some point in our life, we had to agree with God's plan. Mm -hmm. At some point of right. our life, as we was walking this life That's out, right. you know, it happened for me, you know, 27 years ago in yes. 1995. Yes. You know, it may happen for you at a different time, but That's at right. some point in your life, amen, because the you, you, you can't just keep, you can't be walking with God and con continue in the same direction that right. you're going in. You know, when you said that, I was thinking about how our lives must intersect with God. You know, we must intersect with God. We must, we must, we were going this way and, and God was, you know, on this path and it seemed like our paths were parallel, but at some point they have to intersect. We've wow. got to intersect with God so that again, we can get on the path that he has for us because this, this walk is not a solo walk. No, it's we not. know, we know we're not designed to, you know, be on an island by ourselves, as we've heard. It's not a solo walk. We must allow God. I like what we said earlier about the agreement, but the participation. We have to be right. active. That's we right. have to, to partic That's participate right. and cooperate with this plan. Because it's easy not to cooperate. Yeah. Come on, we can say, look, you know, I don't want what God has for me. That's and we right. just get off the path. And, and it's like that, you know, there are some people who are just not teachable, like we're talking about. Right. But those who, who want to be yield, who are yielded and teachable, you're going to get to the path that God has for you just because you remain teachable. Just because you remain Amen. teachable. Let me read this in Matthew while you was, while you was talking. I was thinking about, okay. again, we're talking about being on the right path with right. God or in agreeing with the plan of God. Yes. Uh, Matthew chapter 7, verses, I start reading the verse 13, says this. This King James Version now. It says, <laughs> enter ye at the straight gate. Oh, okay. For wide is the gate and broad is the way that leads to destruction. Again, yeah. this is a path. This is one path that somebody can take. Right. Amen. Listen, it's a look, it said many will be will be on that path. Mm -hmm. Many is on the path, the wide and the broad path that lead to destruction. Yes. Then it says, because straight is the gate and narrow is the way which leads unto life, and few be there, few be on that path. Few are on few that are path. On that path. Few, wow. few of us are agreeing with the plan of God for our life. Wow. There are many people on the wide and broad path. Amen. That path that leads to destruction. And think about it. Mm. They may think that they're doing the right thing. Yes. We just read it earlier yep. that there's a way that seems, seems right. right unto yes. a man. There's so many people on the wide and broad path 
They still think they're walking with God. They still think oh, they're in so agreement good. with God. All they right. still think they godly. They right. still believe that, you know what I'm saying? That they're going in the right direction. Right. But the Bible says different. Yes. That the wide and broad path lead to destruction. Yes. But the straight and narrow path leads to, to eternal, eternal life. life. And few people find it. Wow. So come on, I want to encourage you this morning to right. agree with the plan of God. Maybe yeah. you were on the wrong path, mm -hmm. amen, but it's time to get on the right path because right. the right path will line up with the plan that God has yes, for you. your life. And you can make that decision today. If you're watching the broadcast and you're like, wow, this thing, this is speaking to me. <laughs> They're in my living room yes. talking to me this morning. I need to repent and get it right. You can do that today. There's nothing wrong with that. In the uh, Passion Translation of the same text of Matthew, I like what it says. It says, look, it says everyone chooses the crowded road. Come on. Everybody's on this crowded road. There's a, there's a road and everybody's on it. But then it says the narrow gate and the difficult way leads to eternal life. So few even find few it find because it. I've got to make a decision. Yeah. You know, I know what I want my life to look like, but God, I'm allowing you to instruct me. That's being teachable. I need the Lord to instruct me. Well, how does he instruct us? Through his word. Right. Through the Holy Spirit, like we talked about earlier again. But we have to be, again, submitted and yielded to that plan and realize, look, I'm on this crowded road. And this is not, I know this is what God wants for me. Right. I know that I'm talking to somebody. I know we're talking to somebody today that's realizing this isn't the path that God has for right. me. The path that he had for me, was, would look, it looked totally different than that. And it's okay. It's okay to finally realize, you know what, I want to get on that path. I want to get into the path that God has for me because I want it to lead to everlasting life. Right. I want it to lead to a better life. I want to find the peace. I want to find the joy. I want to find uh, all the fruits of the spirit that we talk about, the, the, the meekness and temper. I want to find that. I know that God has something better for me. And we Amen. don't, we don't, that, I go keep going. Yeah, I want to, I want to close with, um, well, we, five we, things. We, we, I know we're not there yet, yeah, but I do yeah, want to yeah. get to that. Okay. Yeah. We definitely got to get to that. Right. Well, I was thinking about what you were saying again, the, it's the lore of the world. Yes. It's the lore of the world that would, that would cause people. You said a few people on that, Path, I mean, uh, you it, know, and yeah. many of people on that crowded, crowded road, road. Yeah. you know, I think about, I was talking to somebody the other day about, you know, Noah and, um, mm. and how he built the ark. Mm -hmm. You understand? Built the ark. And look, think about it. Few people found the path. Yep. You understand? There were eight people that got on that got on that boat. Right. But eight, but, but millions of people were lost. Yes. You understand? Millions of people, they stayed with the crowd. Right. Oh, you understand? Yeah, they kept good. doing the wrong yep. thing. You know, I think like about they Lot, couldn't see it. Lot's yeah. wife, when yeah. they were trying to save her and right. get her out of, you understand, harm's Sodom. way. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? You know, she had to look back. I, the mm. law of the world is so strong. Wow. And that's why we have to pull. A, it's almost like we have to yank away, wow. amen, from this world. We have to yank away from our old ways. We mm. have to yank away from the things that's outside of the plan and the perfect will of God. Oh, I like, you know, when you said that, it made me think about going back to that child analogy. When you yes. say the child was pulling back. And I was hearing, you need, we need to snatch ourselves back. We need, yeah. to, we need to snatch ourselves out of our old lives so that we can get into, again, the life that God has for us. You got to snatch yourself this morning, amen? It's like, it's like shaking yourself. You got to wake up and amen. see that God has something else for you. Yes. And what he has for you is better than any plan that you can have for yourself. Praise God. Amen. You can go ahead. You want to share All this? All right. In closing, for those of you who are taking notes, glory to God, I, wanna, uh, I want you to write down, Five things you can do to remain in agreement with God's plan for your life. Five things you can do to remain in agreement with God's plan for your life. Amen. Can you fix my mic? All right. Five things. Number one, have a prayer life. You've been hearing us talk about the word and all that good stuff, but you must have a prayer life. It starts with taking daily time to devote yourself to the Lord Amen. in prayer. Amen. Prayer and those of you who are partners of Kingdom Life Church, you know we put an avenue. We have a vehicle for you to uh, at least establish a prayer life. Amen. Amen. Number two. Create a regimen of reading the word. Glory to God. Read the word daily and then apply what you read to your life. All right. Uh, number three. Look, follow the commands that God places in your heart. You know, uh, I don't know if Pastor talked about it, but in Proverbs 16 and 9, it says man yeah, plans right. his way, but the Lord orders his steps or the that's Lord right. directs his step. Again, Amen. you can have a plan for your life, but again, the Lord is the one who directs your steps. All right. 
Uh, also, number four, seek and choose godly friends. We talked about that. Mm -hmm. And people of influence. And we talked about that. Pastor read over in Psalm uh, chapter 1 and verse 1 right. about uh, not sitting in the seat of the ungodly. But I want to uh, say Proverbs 13 and 20 says, look, walk with the wise and you will become wise. Yeah. Wow, That's right. your environment is so important, you know. Right. We Amen. talk about it all the time, how it makes a silent demand on you. Go ahead, Pastor, Amen. you want to say, say something? 1 Corinthians 15 and 33 is another companion scripture to Proverbs 13 and 20. Mm -hmm. 1 Corinthians 15 and 33 says, evil company corrupts good oh, manners. Oh, yeah, that's good. So that's another thing. So it's important, again, if we're going to walk in the direction that God has for us, is having the right people around us. Yeah, you know again, seek and choose godly friends and people of influence. And then number five, listen. Obey what God reveals to you. I think we've talked wow. about all of these wow. <laughs> during the course of this teaching. But again, it may seem scary. It may seem unfamiliar, mm. the path that he has for you. But know this. He will be with you every step of the way. Wow. God will be with you every step of the way. You know, I'm realizing that more and more, you will never be fulfilled until you're doing the thing that God has called you to do. That's right. You know, we have all these grand ideas and all these bright ideas of what we want our life uh, to look like. But the truth of the matter is you will never be fulfilled until you're doing exactly what God has destined for you to do. That's right. You know, Philippians said, the Bible says in Philippians chapter one and verse six that, that, uh, that, you know, the God, he's faithful to complete the thing that he started in our life. Oh, that's good. You know, what he started, he's faithful, faithful to, complete. to complete. But it yeah. goes back to us cooperating. Yes. You know, he has a plan for us. He right. has a perfect will for us. Mm -hmm. But we all know, amen, at least those that kingdom life know, that God's will, amen, is not in question. Never. Because God's will is not strong enough, you understand now, now don't, don't, don't throw stones at me, amen, for, for things, for, for us just to get in line, amen. We have to get in line and we have to play a part in that, you mm -hmm. know, again, talking about Second Peter, yeah. uh, I believe th 3 and 9, mm -hmm. where it says that he's not willing to end with perish, but we know people are perishing. Every day. So, so, but it's not God's will that people are perishing, right. even though they're perishing. How they perish and pass because they're choosing to. Yes. They're choosing. That's why we have to choose the plan of God. Yes, that's Amen. good. Even though God chose us, he chose us before the beginning of the beginning of the whole world. Amen. He tapped us on the shoulder. We had to still agree to come out of the world. Yeah. You still have to agree with the plan of God. So I want to close with Ephesians chapter 2 and verse 10. Mm. It says, for we are his workmanship, creating Christ Jesus unto good works which God had before ordained that we shall walk in them. Mm. God has ordained that each of us will have good works, that yes. we will walk in good works. We are his workmanship, meaning yeah. we are all works in progress, mm -hmm. or we are works in process. Right. Amen. There's there, there's some things that has to happen in our life That's good. prior, amen, to uh, to his plan being fulfilled in our life. And so, amen, and we're going to... That is good. Ahead. I got one closing scripture as oh, well. Yeah, I want to read um, until you're hearing Psalms 37, verse 23, out of the New Living Translation. It says, the Lord directs the steps of the godly. He delights, listen to this, in every detail of their lives. Isn't that awesome? God takes um, delight in every detail of Amen. our life. And that's why we should never uh, be willing to leave him out. That's right. We should never want to leave him out because he delights in every detail of our lives. That's so good. Amen. Amen. So, well, praise God. Well, it's 730. Yeah. Amen. Again, thank you for being here with us Amen. for another coffee and, and conversations. conversations. <laughs> Amen. We're so excited. Amen. We'll have a brand new topic yes. on next Thursday. Yes. Woo -hoo. What is it going to be? Uh, praise God. We'll Amen. let you know then. Amen. But we thank you all again Bro for joining us. Yes. Thank you for showing the broadcast, sharing the, sharing broadcast. the broadcast. Listen, yes. look, we want 50 shares. Share the broadcast if you haven't done it. Yep. Uh, let this word be an encouragement to somebody other than you on today. As we've been talking about in our Love Is series, it's more than just us. Amen. We want That's others right. to be involved. And so out of our love, we will share the broadcast so somebody else can be blessed. Amen. Yeah. So let's have a closing word of prayer this morning. Well, Father, we honor you again and we yeah. bless you. Bless you. Lord, we thank Thank you for those who are viewing this broadcast yes. live right now. And even those that will be viewing, God, uh, once later. it's been shared yes. or at a later time. You, Father, Jesus. we pray yes. and we touch and agree, Father, that you would bless them, that you yes. would increase them. We pray, God, that you would encourage them to get on the plan that you have for them. Yes. We pray that each of them will cooperate and yes. participate with Thank your you, plan Jesus. and your will for their lives. Have your way, Father. Have your way. Those that may be on the path to destruction, yes. God, we pray, God, that you would encourage them. 
God, that their GPS will begin to reroute them Amen. to your path, God, yes. and your plan yes. and, and your purposes for your their lives. Yes. Have, your, Have way your way in and through their lives. Yes. Those that may be heading to work this morning, yes. give them traveling, traveling mercies, mercies, Father. Yes. God, let them find all things well. Keep your hedge of protection around them yes. until we meet again, even on next Thursday morning. Yes. In Jesus', Jesus name. name. Amen. 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 Praise Amen. the Lord. What's in your cup? Amen. You all have a great Praise day. God bless you. God bless <laughs> you. Thank you so much for tuning in.